Now, let's try this shit again. This video is called Man Turns Divorce Woman's Logic Against Her by, I didn't even get the name. Now, Charles in Charge Reacts. Charles and yeah, Charles in Charge Reacts. All right. The fact that if, if a man is running a household, believe me, there's there are things missing and it doesn't make it better. And I think that what society does is we always blame black women or women, period, for things that um, are, are not right in the household. Right. This whole idea that women raise degenerate children is is kind of ridiculous. So what I'm saying is in a household with a man and we're, we're comparing a, a single father household to a single mother household the facts is that the single father household does better because men are more technical micromanaging and more of the disciplinarian to the kid mm -hmm. women tend to say that they have this intuition oh yeah i kind of feel like things well you feel like something that's why you keep messing with the wrong niggas well you feel like something that's why you're not uh, going to that <laughs> going into st uh, uh, job fields that evolve stem which pay higher because you feel like you don't want to do that and you feel more social actually i'm only 34 years old y'all women are older than me tell me is there any have, have you ever made a good decision with leading with your emotions first <laughs> I, I agree with you that you should not make decisions emotionally quite proven i so, ain't seen nobody raise their hand yeah, right no, there I, I'm gonna, I, I, I agree giving, with you on i agree with I you giving, on that okay. gotcha <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, she basically proved his point. She was all in the feelings, but she proved his point because it doesn't matter. Just look at the stats. Look at the evidence. Look at the history. It tells the story. And one major reason that single fathers end up doing a better job than single mothers is because, especially with children, as they become older, become teenagers, is with boys, they get bigger. Mama can't tell them what to do the same way no more. He bigger than her now. He think he the man of the house. Can't do that with pops though. Pops look at him and say, think you're a man, I'm gonna show you a man. Sometimes that could be the difference between the young man going down the right path versus the wrong path. And with a girl, it gives her a better understanding of what a real man looks like when he really cares about you and he's just not trying to sleep with you. And what they say, man, fathers keep sons out of prison, daughters off of poles. <laughs> man, listen, that's- I agree to that, bro. Simply because I was raised in a single father household. My mom passed away when I was seven. So, bruh, like, none of us went to jail. None of us, like, for real, like, I, I know a lot of friends who raised a single mom household. And I'm not saying every single mom household just is fucked up, but it's some truth to that. Like, like, and I'm not, like, bruh, like, I, like, everybody that I know that had their dad in their life, they, they know what it is. Like, it's. You can tell, like, and I'm not like trying to be biased or anything, but like, I, I can't imagine going through life if my dad passed away versus, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even imagine what what kind of strain that would put on my mama, what all she would have to have gone through. Like, I, it's impossible to think of. Like, how everything would turn out differently, for real. Like, even though I wish I can, you know, have her here with us, but if she had to do what my dad did, it would, no, never, n totally different, totally different life. So true. So true. I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day, so naturally I followed him to the checkout counter, and when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles, and I was able to tell that he was single. So I went through his friends list and I found his mother's page. And then I looked through his mother's page and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area. So I sent a request to join the book club. So I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked. And she just thought I was so nice. And I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single. And she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area and maybe it would be cool for us to get together and chat sometime. So I gave her my number, which she gave to her son. And this morning he texted me and asked if I'd like to get together this weekend and do something. So I guess we're going to go on a date. I'm really excited.
Um, yeah, uh, they call that stalking. She is stalker. She just admitted to it. That's a, a level of stalk. Bro, this is the type of shit that dudes point out. If if a dude did all of this exact, bro, he's a fucking creep. He's he is under the jail, and then as soon as she finds out, he's in like it's no, you're, there's nothing good coming from that. Talking, doing that much just so you can get close enough in his orbit to figure some way so that way he ends up asking you out. That's crazy. You must have one the hell of a skincare routine. Well, I can't guarantee that women won't stalk you once you start this skincare routine. What I do know is you'll feel a whole lot better about your skin once you get started. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley at the sponsor of today's video. They help men start and maintain the skincare routine. If I were to leave my husband, there are men lined up who were more oh, than yeah, willing to take care of me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a cool. damn lie. That's cap. That's the that's the simps that she ignoring because they not who she want. I hate when women say that because at the end of the day, those same men that's lining up to take care of them, they don't even want themselves. They just use that as an excuse to make sure the one she wants act right. But if they were lining up to take care of her, then why ain't she with any of them? That shit make them shit gets on my nerves when they say that. But I are they the men that you want? Yes. Oh, Time out because me. listen, this is what on women the get confused. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking simps who will do it because they, 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 because they don't they have the many options. These are the guys that don't have an option because listen, that's the problem with the game is women feel like because there's always men lined up, they get the fucking delusion that they can have any guy. No, when given the option, you're going to pick the better option. A woman with a kid is never the better option between a woman without one. I don't care what a man told you. It's about what he showed you. Some women love to believe a lie because the truth is too painful and it's too real. That's the reality. And yep. rather than confront that lie, it's easier just to live in it versus actually deal with the truth. What is that man doing? What is that man's action showing you? Because actions are always going to speak louder than words. It doesn't yep. matter what he's saying. What is he actually doing? And unless he's showing you commitment, sharing his resources, marriage, then what are you even talking about? Women who talk like this, they sound like high school teenage girls. And thinking that men that simply are orbiting around you, telling you what you want to hear, and thinking that that necessarily means you got options, is crazy. 22-year-old NBA player had her, had, had the kid by him, or, or is having, did she have him, or having him? Got the kid by him. Bro, she's passed goods, passed around goods. You, you, oh, so you think you're the guy because you got a pretty woman and she's pregnant. You don't know, oh, you got to the party late. You don't know, she done, she done topped all of us off. But congratulations on the new, on the newborn. Mm, that's good. That's good. That's it. <laughs> you have seven kids by four baby mamas. Why? <laughs> <laughs> she said it with a straight face. Why? Uh, that clip's gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he ain't even buzz. What is this? this? I honestly don't, in my situation, because I can only speak for me, I, it was not designed that way, but this is my journey. That is my blessing, and you know, that's a part of my story in which I can help share with others on what to do and what not to do. I don't get the joke. He laughing like he doesn't have seven whole kids by four baby mamas. And I think it's safe to say in 99% of situations, unless your name is Nick Cannon, it's never designed for you to have that many kids by that many different women. No, no, it's, I don't see no accountability. I'll tell you one thing. One thing you better not share. Don't share your pullout method because it's trash. Don't be this guy. <laughs>
So you're making the claim that women are disadvantaged in the workforce and that they don't have the same earning opportunities that men do. This is a breakdown of many of the blue collar jobs throughout society on my phone right here with what percentage of each of those jobs are worked by men. Will you go ahead and read the first 10 statistics off of this, please? Roofer, 90%, logger, 93%, veteran, 90%, plumber, 97%, mechanic, 92%, carpenter, 92%, coal miner, 94%, firefighter, 95%, iron worker, 92%. So those are like well-paying, decent-paying, blue-collar jobs yeah, that are completely... Yeah, you don't want any of those jobs, but you could have any of those jobs as a woman. I don't understand. It's like, yeah. I'm, I'm hearing like, hey, you know, wi us women are disadvantaged, but you just told me I don't want any of those well-paying jobs. Is it disadvantage or is it that you just don't want the job? No, fem feminism can only exist when there's air-conditioned, comfortable office jobs that don't require physically laborious work. So true. Wait, but... It's true. Yeah, that equality don't hit the same when you might have to actually get a little uncomfortable and break a sweat. They want convenient equality. They don't want <laughs> equality with hard, taxing, labor-driven jobs, crawling under houses, on top of roofs, climbing up poles, out on the interstate with the hazard vest on. Not that. They want comfort. Oh, and power. Equality is always a good thing if it means they are the boss. Boss chick. You'll never hear about the wage gap when it comes to blue-collar jobs because it does not fit the narrative. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is going to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? Mm -hmm. You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Right. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. Right. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. Oh. No, no, here Didn't I say something hold on, hold on. Chicken her head, no. Listen, anything short of that man being a serial cheater or smacking her around, she needs to go back home. You forfeit your right to leave when you have seven kids. And now you have your eureka moment like, you know what? He not it. I feel like I can do better. <laughs> really? Seven kids means she's experienced nearly 63 months of being pregnant. That's a little bit over five years. You don't wait until you're seven kids in to be like, you know what? This isn't really working for me. Lady, you got enough kids to start your own youth basketball team. Guys, and don't forget to check out today's sponsor. Seven kids is a lot, though, yo. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I just want, I want to know, like, what makes some people think that, like, they had, bro, seven kids is crazy, bro. Like, I'm trying to understand what makes somebody think that, like, how can you approach somebody and be like i got seven kids and you gotta love all of bro that's to me that is in i can't comprehend that bro but you might as well be in an open relationship that's what i'm saying like at that point if it's not working out that's when you go down the line to like other shit like polygamy and all that other, you know what i'm saying like the other type of shit it takes a commute bro like if if you got if she got seven kids that means you have to accept somebody else with kids because ain't nobody else gonna somebody without kids is not gonna take you with set seven kids bro and you probably want somebody with no kids 
I wish she said all the ages, bro. You know they young terror. You know they the terrorizing age, bro. Seven is insane, cause she look young as hell. Bro, I can't even fathom, bro. Uh, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe to this video. Peace out.